internet was left in shock recently as Austin McBroom and Catherine Pies announced their divorce on January 11th, 2024, marking the end of their popular YouTube channel, The Ace Family. Running the family channel since 2016, the couple faced numerous controversies, including cheating allegations against McBroom. In 2022, they confirmed their decision to step away from YouTube. Then the news of their divorce came in January 2024 with Catherine citing irreconcilable challenges. And this kind of raised eyebrows. Since the announcement, McBroom's actions have sparked concern among viewers. Initially mocked for embarrassing Snapchat posts, he recently revealed purchasing an RV to live outside Catherine and the kid's house, having fans questioning his well-being even more. But is this all a publicity stunt? Kind of seems like it. Here's just a little update regarding my living situation. So this is what I did. I was able to get this new motorhome. And so I'll be living here. Temporary. Are you curious to hear the whole story behind Austin McBroom's new digs? Well, let's dive right into this video and we'll even see inside his brand new RV home. The Ace family, renowned for amassing over 18 million YouTube followers by documenting their lives in love, have recently announced their separation. Fans are left questioning the reasons behind the divorce of Austin and Catherine McBroom, who had been online sensations since launching their channel in 2016. Despite their initial success, the couple faced legal and financial challenges in recent times, and they've often been surrounded by controversy. While it's said they divorced amicably, and it appears they are still friendly, many are blaming Austin's infidelity as the final nail in the coffin. The family last posted on their YouTube channel on June 10th of 2023. According to the Today Show, the pair said in a 2022 video that it would be their last year posting on the website because they wanted to focus on their family as well as traveling with their children. When Austin and Catherine fully announced their divorce on January 11th, 2024, this really marked the end of their Ace Family channel and their original claim to fame. The husband and wife duo had been running this channel since 2016, but they saw numerous controversies during their time in the limelight. McBroom, well, he faced several cheating allegations too, so you kinda gotta wonder if that's the reason they're getting divorced. Post-divorce, Austin's thirsty behavior on his Snapchat stories have viewers wondering if he's all good. And more recently, they're talking even more, since he revealed his new home is in fact a motor home he's parked on the side of the street next to Catherine and the kids' house. All right guys, so I'm about to give you a quick little tour of my new place. Um, again, this is just temporary, but it's dope. It's dope. Come check it out. But before we check out Austin's fancy new digs, let's see some of the places the Ace family lived before. In 2022, the Ace family had secured a new Hollywood estate, leasing a $5 million mansion with a monthly rent bill in the five-figure range, $20,000 to be specific. Real estate insiders revealed that Austin and Catherine McBroom were leasing this stunning five-bedroom home. Constructed recently, the modern farmhouse-style property spans 4,900 square feet inside and features a home theater with luxurious leather recliners. There are also fireplaces in the family room, living room, and main suite, as well as many other highlights. Outside, this home had grounds with a swimming pool along with a covered lounge, hosting a fire pit next to the pool. The main suite here offered a walk-in closet, spa shower, private deck, and balcony. Well, the entire home was equipped with the latest built-in technology. This move was a big change for the Ace family as they weren't used to renting their home. The former couple owned a sub substantial property prior to this one located in Woodland Hills. Now, if you guys remember, unfortunately this home faced foreclosure in 2021 and was subsequently sold to another pair of YouTube stars, Alan and Alex Stokes. In 2023, it was reported that Austin and Catherine had a new rental home. For years, the family had been hopping around homes in Hollywood. Catherine made it clear that living in their children's school district was a priority. In recent years, they experienced three to four relocations, mainly due to financial challenges, but they've provided alternative reasons for these moves. Despite this, parents Catherine and Austin are navigating the changes for the well-being of their three children, 
El Alea and Steel. After a series of moves, it appears that the Ace family moved into their current Hollywood home. So I guess we can assume this is the one Catherine is living in right now. At the time, subscribers and fans were closely following their house hunting journey. In mid-September, Austin announced on Instagram that they successfully moved into a new welcoming home. I'm back, he shared on his story. For those wondering where I've been the last few weeks, I took a beautiful, peaceful mental break from the internet and my phone. I feel refreshed. Oh, I almost forgot the best part. We moved into the best home we've had yet. New house tour coming soon. Reflecting on their past challenges with home situations, Austin expressed gratitude for their previous homes while acknowledging that something always seemed to go wrong. However, he expressed optimism about the new residence, noting the unique feeling, energy, and overall positive atmosphere. And so I'm going to go ahead and assume this is the home he's now parked outside in his RV. Now, let's talk about Austin's RV. In a TikTok video reposted on the account vids00, McBroom updated viewers on his living situation, emphasizing his desire to be close to his three children shared with Catherine. Describing his new RV a temporary solution and the best for now, he parked the motor home directly opposite Catherine's house. I'm happy with it and as long as they're happy and I'm happy that's all that matters, he said. A follow-up video showcased a tour of the RV with McBroom reiterating its temporary nature, emphasizing the goal of being closer to his kids. Despite these assurances, viewers found this situation weird and scary. Some question its authenticity, speculating that McBroom's videos were simply a publicity stunt or prank, while others suggested legal action against him. In the Snapchat RV tour, he shows the living and dining rooms before drawing attention to a brand new TV and other various appliances that he had installed inside the RV. These include a microwave and a fridge. Austin McBroom then showed off his mini modular kitchen saying, over here's my kitchen. It's kind of a big kitchen, you know, for a motor home. Got the stove here, got the microwave. Again, everything is brand new. Some of the stuff he's saying sounds a little sarcastic, but I don't know. <laughs> he shows off his master bedroom too, with his master bed, master closet, master TV, and whatnot. Even an ensuite bathroom. This bed is probably one of the most comfortable beds that could even be in a motor home. Like I had a customized, basically like this room for the, for the mattress to fit. Austin shares the convenient window in his master bathroom too, where he has a heated toilet and so-called custom sink, as well as the window that according to him, he can peep out and make sure the family's good. Unfortunately, it seems not even a few days after Austin's RV tour, he got a ticket for being parked on the street. This can't be for real. Well, after taking a look at Austin McBroom's RV living situation, what do you think? Is this guy for real or is this all for views? Before we go, answer this question question for me. Would you ever let your ex park on your property with an RV if you're the one who got the house? Let me know in the comments below if you'd feel comfortable with that. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. I'm Kara. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all another time. Bye! Hey everyone, it's Kara, or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me, and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself, and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix, and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.